Hello friends! Today I'm bringing you a look from the Once palette and by request it is very very easy and basic. I'm going to be pointing out to you as we go a really great one shadow look and then with the addition of one extra shade I'm going to build on it for just a bit more drama. But I love a beautiful berry toned look. I think it's especially great for this time of year. And for those of you who are wanting more full face like get ready with me style videos, um, let's see this will be going up on Friday. The video coming tomorrow is going to be exactly that. So I hope you stay tuned for that. But these little Friday videos, they need to be a quick video for me to be able to fit them in, you know? And I really just want to focus on the Emily edit, either the Once palette or the Needs palette, whichever it may be. Maybe the Needs palette is due for another look here next time. But I just kind of wanted to show you the simplicity that the Once palette really can have, even though it is a 24 color palette that can take you in tons of different directions. You can also keep it very beautifully simple as well. So I hope you enjoy this look and here we go. So I'm going to start things off with a little bit of Urban Decay Primer potion. This is the anti-aging version that I'm just kind of working through before I let myself bust into my new Milani. But they work very similarly. To me, I can use them pretty interchangeably. And I just get that going all over the lid, up through my crease, and whatever's left, kind of pat it up under the brow. Eye primer has got to be one of the biggest unsung heroes of makeup. If you've been doing eyeshadow and not using any sort of primer first, or some sort of like even a MAC paint pot base or something under your look, if you haven't been doing that, I think your world will change when you start. You may be a little blown away by just how simple this look is gonna be, but pizzazz right in here. This is a shade with some shimmer kind of a mauve colored shadow. And I am going to take this right into my crease. And it's funny what happens with certain shimmers. And I've said this before, but when you apply them with different brushes, you'll sometimes get different effects. And this is definitely one of those situations where you can see I'm popping it in my crease here. It's not looking overly shiny, but I'm kind of shearing the shade, you know, with a brush like this, not really packing it on. So this is just my Sigma E25. I'm just going back and forth, getting it throughout my entire crease region right here, okay? Very simple. Gonna do the same thing over on this side. Just a nice, soft, kind of rosy mauve color. Great accessory to a lot of different looks, but it can really hold its own too. Okay, we good with that crease? I'm gonna buff over it with a bare brush, not applying any shadow. This is my Sigma E40, and I'm just sort of running over the edges of that shadow to make sure everything got as smooth as it can be. Then we're gonna take a flat brush right back into pizzazz. And this I'm going to apply with the short, kind of, see that little swiping motion? I'm going to be going all over the lid with that. That same kind of technique where there's just a little bit of pull to the brush. That's when the color's really getting laying down and then I find myself sort of patting over it just to ensure that everything is kind of adhered there into the lid. It's just sort of an instinctive thing. <laughs> same thing over here. I'm just patting into my shadow, going pat, 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 picking it up, pulling gently across the lid and enjoying that nice kind of rosy, color payoff with a gentle sheen. Now if the pinky tone of this shadow, you know, used in a very full-on manner here like I am, if that's not really your thing, I could see Side Hustle being used this way, I could see Capricorn being used this way. If you like an even more intense pinky red, maybe Heartbeat. Then I'm taking a brush that seems to just get more useful by the day for me, the Shader Crease E47 brush from Sigma. Nice, small, compact size, and the second shade we're going to use today is Oh Heavens. I'm just picking some of that up on the end of my brush and letting that pearly goodness encircle our innermost corner there. It's just exactly what I wanted for this kind of shade, you know? It's soft, but it's just bright enough to show where you're putting it. Oh Heavens and Cupcake, there are a couple of shades in this palette that just have their a texture of their own that's just very pearly and soft and not quite as metallic as a lot of the other colors. But I'm going to continue with Oh Heavens and I'm going to apply this right up here under my brow. Next I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlight and I'm going to pop this in my lower inner rim. I can always count on that product for that extra bit of wakefulness, especially when like rosy colors are being used on the eye. It helps. Picking up again a little bit of pizzazz and I'm going to use this for just the softest definition here on the lower lash line. 
So that, my friends, is what I would call your simple one shadow look, plus a little highlight with pizzazz. It's just a great little mid-tone to use in this way. But now, before I completely finish off my look with mascara, I thought let's show one little twist on this on how to bump it up with just one other shade. The additional shade I'm gonna bring in is the matte color called Family. And this is a very standard way for me when I'm taking my very basic look and turning it into something slightly more dramatic. I start adding the shadow to the outer part of my eyelid here. And you can see the purple. Love it. Love that it can even overlap another color and still show its purpleness, its plumminess. Mattes, I really prefer just the gentle patting motion, you know, just patting it right in. Build it up little by little. Don't overwhelm yourself. You don't need to scrub into the shade. Just get a little bit on there and then pat, 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 pat right here, covering your outermost corner of your eyelid, flipping the brush, getting it into the crease a little bit. That's a really easy way to utilize your flat brush in, in more than one manner, you know? It can really lay down product in two different ways for you. I feel like I've seen a lot of looks that have been shared with me on Instagram or Twitter that have taken on this kind of a color combo. Maybe it's been with Heartbeat sometimes, not just pizzazz, but bringing together these pinky tone shimmers along with the little plum. Now, what am I doing here? I don't even have anything on this little outer corner brush that I use. I'm just kind of moving the product around slightly and bringing it even more up into my crease. And then if you want a little more pop with pizzazz, get a little with your finger. Let it come over everything, like kind of dab it right there in the center and more of a shine will show up with it. Next I'm going to do a little bit of liner. I'm using my Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick liquid pen and I'm just going to take that across the upper lash line. And I gave the look a little bit of a wing today. And then you probably know how I tend to like to finish my liner. I'm going into my matte plum called Family with an angled brush. This is a Sigma E65. And I just bring a little bit of that shadow just under the wing. I'm not going for a real heavy lower lash line today, so I'm pretty much keeping it confined just to that area. And to me, it just softens the wing a little bit and it makes it mesh in a little bit more with my eye shape, so that's why I do that so often. And the angled brush is just so precise that it fits right in with, you know, the precision of a winged liner. I'm going to apply my mascara and find a lip color, and then I'll join you with the finished look. So everyone, this is my finished look. As you saw, we did the liner, and then I put on my CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara on the upper lashes, Clump Crusher Water Resistant on the lower lashes. And I actually finished off the cheeks with shades from the Once palette. I used Love Tons very lightly as my blush, and then I used Oh Heavens as my highlight, which I think is pretty awesome. And then my lip today is the Bare Minimum Minerals Gen Nude Matte in Juju, and this is one of the few matte liquid lipsticks that I think is really, really comfortable and nice. So yeah, you asked for basic, you got a very basic look here today. I just really wanted to show that even with a selection of 24 beautiful colors, you really still can do wonderfully simple looks, one shadow looks, really with anything in here that you like. But I think you might see why pizzazz works really well because it is that nice mid-tone shade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, leave your requests for future looks. You you want to see from this palette. A couple ideas I had for upcoming Friday videos might be like a palette bingo because my friend David's like, you've got to use this palette for palette bingo. I'd also like to bring my mom in as a guest soon and do something with her with these palettes. All kinds of things we can do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!